Fuzzy dark matter might make stars form in giant pancakes. Dark matter accounts for over 80% of the universe's matter, yet it is mostly unknown. Every second, a billion subatomic dark matter particles travel past your outstretched palm, but very few, if any, of these ethereal particles will ever genuinely touch your hand and bounce back in this lifetime. According to the exotic dark matter model, the initial stars may have formed as microscopic pockets embedded in massive pancake-like sheets rather than as individual stars. Research teams believe that dark matter would have resulted in the birth of incredible Incredibly massive stars, which the James Webb Space Telescope may be able to detect. Today, Space Union will discuss dark matter and attempt to unravel the mystery of stars forming in gigantic pancake sheets and dark matter. Make sure to watch this video until the end. Astronomers have known since the 1930s that the observable world is not the entire universe we know. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, rotates too fast to be held together by the gravitational pull of its stars. If stars were all there was, we should have been flung off our cosmic merry-go-round long ago. Instead, the so-called dark matter in our galaxy contains approximately six times as much stuff as all the atoms in the periodic table combined. According to a wealth of evidence available to astronomers, the vast majority of the universe's matter is dark matter, which does not interact with light or conventional matter. Given the gravity of all the mass, we can witness stars, for example, whip across the cores of their galaxies far too quickly. A similar thing happens when we observe the movements of galaxies within clusters. And given the meager gravity provided by all visible objects, the cosmic web, the large structure arrangement of galaxies throughout the universe, emerged and evolved far too quickly. Dark matter accounts for around 85% of all that matter in the universe. Dark matter is referred to as dark because it does not appear to interact with the electromagnetic field. That is, it does not absorb, reflect, or emit electromagnetic radiation, making it difficult to detect. Many astronomical findings, including gravitational effects that cannot be explained by existing gravity theories without the presence of more matter that can be detected, indicate the existence of dark matter. As a result, more than half of scientists believe that dark matter exists in the universe and has greatly influenced its structure and evolution. The main form of evidence for dark matter is calculations suggesting that many galaxies would behave significantly differently if they did not include a significant proportion of unseen substances. Many galaxies would not have formed, and some would not have traveled in the way that they do now. As a result, the majority of our cosmos is invisible, and we still don't know what makes it up. One commonly recognized idea is cold dark matter, which states that dark matter is made up of an exotic particle that flows at a considerably slower speed than light. While this model is quite effective at describing all of the strange observations of galaxies and structures, it has several drawbacks. For example, the cold dark matter model struggles with scales smaller than galaxies. For example, the model predicts significantly more small satellite galaxies than we can discover and substantially more material in galaxy cores than we can see. The amount of dark matter will determine the universe's ultimate fate. According to astronomers' calculations, the observed mass of planets, stars, and galaxies cannot exert enough gravitational force to stop the Big Bang's expansion. As a result, if the universe has less matter than at critical density, it will continue to expand indefinitely. Yet. If there is enough of the mysterious dark matter, its gravitational attraction will eventually cause the cosmos to start shrinking and collapse. This is a new recipe for these massive pancake sheets. Before we begin, if you enjoy content like this, please like this video and subscribe to this channel to receive more in-depth updates. When dark matter becomes fuzzy, the particle's waveform effectively spreads over enormous distances, eradicating many of the build-up concerns that cold dark matter had. To put it another way, this concept prevents dark matter from forming structures smaller than a thousand light years in size. We need to find new techniques to test the theory because it was created to explain current observations, which is what science requires. This is the motivation behind a brand new study, which has been submitted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters and is available as preprint on ARXIV. For the paper, astronomers developed computer simulations of the early cosmos and the birth of the first stars. They noticed how dark matter's fuzziness influenced the evolution of ordinary matter and the birth of stars. Dark matter aids in the formation of stars and galaxies. Due to the ongoing expansion of the cosmos, a clump of gas requires a lot of gravity to be drawn together to achieve densities high enough to initiate fusion and star formation. And the cosmos does not have enough ordinary matter for that to happen. On the other hand, clusters of dark matter act as gravitational incubators in the early universe, attracting enough ordinary matter to form galaxies and stars. As a result, Changing the properties of dark matter, such as making it fuzzy, will affect how stars and galaxies evolve. 
However, with this new recipe, lumps form in the batter. The researchers' simulations revealed that when dark matter gets hazy, the history of how stars form changes. Stars form in ordinary cold dark matter from deep within isolated pockets scattered around the galaxy. In the case of fuzzy dark matter, however, massive two-dimensional sheets resembling pancakes form first. The pancake then disintegrates into small pockets that eventually expand into stars. As a result, regardless of the circumstances, you fill a universe with a cluster of stars exactly as you would in a conventional cold dark matter situation. However, the researchers detected a clear difference. Because two-dimensional pancakes have so much mass and collapse very quickly, the initial generation of stars is significantly larger than later generations. Because of the mass-to-speed ratio of the two-dimensional pancakes and their quick collapse, the first generation of stars is far more massive than projected based on cold dark matter models. Unlike cold dark matter, which can only form stars that are a few hundred times the sun's mass, fuzzy dark matter models can create early stars that are a million times the sun's mass. Because of their massive size, the stars would not endure long. The first generation of stars would then disintegrate in a nanosecond of supernova explosions. Without the pancakes, star formation would restart normally and the universe would begin to resemble our own. The James Webb Space Telescope is capable of imaging some of the early galaxies, which may include remnants of the primordial creation of stars, but it will not be able to observe the universe's first stars directly. Because all first generation stars, according to their model, perish quickly, the researchers argue that if JWST detects no first generation stars at all, it may provide support for the team's idea. The JWST may also be able to detect the radiation left over from the intense supernova cluster, but it's difficult to foresee what the universe might come up with in dark matter. Hubble Space Telescope discoveries shows that there aren't enough faint red stars in the cosmos to account for the gravitational lensing occurrences associated with these data. Additional circumstantial evidence for dark matter in our galaxy's halo has been obtained from its gravitational effect on the motions of stars within the Milky Way's disk. Recent ground-based observations by Peggy Sackett of the Institute for Advanced Study confirmed this notion, revealing a faint glow of light encircling a nearby spiral galaxy in the form expected for a halo composed of dark matter. This might be light directly from dark matter or stars displaying signals of dark matter in the galaxy. Furthermore, the motions of galaxies and clusters, the properties of high temperature gas in galaxies, and the relative amounts of light elements and isotopes generated in the Big Bang have all been used to infer the existence of dark matter. According to one expert, the presence of dark matter remains one of physics and astronomy's major mysteries. Our discoveries add to the urgency of determining what the dark matter is. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let us know in the comments section if you think the JWST will be able to detect more valid evidence to clear the mystery surrounding dark matter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.